The Fourth Court of Appeals is declaring the Texas improper photography statute unconstitutional. That statute makes it a state felony to record or photograph another person without their consent for sexual purposes. Tonight team's Bill Barajas finds out what happens next. A picture taken in public but used for what was described by prosecutors as sexual desire is in dispute between two legal parties cited by an appeals court that said the law was unconstitutional. I was very surprised. I was very surprised. This has been, has proven to be an important statute in what I would call the digital age. Uh, you know, this is the kind of statute that prevents someone from photographing up a woman's skirt. Don Flannery disagrees. He believes the statute is too broad. The statute criminalizes any person in the state of Texas taking a photograph or transmitting a, a, an image or a video, either electronically or uh, with a text message, an email, a Facebook post. Flannery represents Ronald Thompson, a man the Bear County District Attorney's Office alleges was taking improper pictures of children at SeaWorld back in 2011. Mr. Thompson was charged with the statute and he hasn't been tried, he hasn't been convicted. There's been no evidence at all uh, entered in this case. Uh, the, the, the accusations against him are just accusations and we're, we're disputing them. Thompson was indicted on 26 felony counts of violating the improper photography statute, but Clifford Herbert Jr. says finding the statute unconstitutional will allow people like Thompson to get off. By holding it unconstitutional, it basically means that these cases are now placed in jeopardy of either um, being dismissed or in the future not being filed by law enforcement. The district attorney's office will appeal the decision with the Court of Criminal Appeals. The district attorney's office has 30 days to file an appeal. After that, it could take some time before a ruling is made. We'll keep you posted. Live from the Justice Center, Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News.